Now the Dork of the Week, oh, I've been waiting for this. We're going to rename this award just for one week only in honor of our honoree. We're going to call this the Dog of the Week because who other than Christopher Bad Dog Russo could be the Dork of the Week? There's no other choice. This might be the most obvious choice we've ever had. And it's the first time that I can recall I'm giving this award to a friend of mine. I love the dog. Used to work with him in MLB Network. We had a blast together. But let's take a look at what got this all started. Christopher Mad Dog Russo on his Sirius XM radio show. I've been wrong in Arizona from day one. I, I, a, I'm stunned to beat Milwaukee. I thought they'd get swept by the Dodgers. I never thought they'd even go back to Philly for a game six. Uh, I'll try it one more time. I would not be stunned if they won tonight. I would be floored. Floored. And I'll say this right now. Just to, I'll say this right now. And Bob Raceman, write it down. If they win the next two days, they win the next two games and win this series in seven games, if they win, I will, I will retire on the spot. Well, I believe there's an opening. There is an opening right now this morning. On Sirius XM. Now, Bob Raceman, who the dog referred to there, he's the New York Daily News longtime media writer. He's held the doggy accountable over the years. Basically, doggy challenged him. Write it down. Challenged everyone. Mostly challenged the Diamondbacks, who had a good deal of fun with this, as they should. Starting with before Game 7 last night, when Tori Lovello met the media. But I would love to see him quit if we won today. <laughs> You know what I mean? But there's nothing, there's nothing better than a wise guy New Yorker saying something and then having to chomp on those words. So that's how I'm processing it, and it'll be great. He's a friend of mine. I love Mad Dog, um, and I know that he's going to end up hearing this, and I didn't want to really get into this, but um, I did. <laughs> Tori Lovello, a manager who said at the start of the series, or sometime during the series, I'm keeping receipts of all the people who have doubted us. Well... The dog was the lead doubter, as it turned out, and the clubhouse last night included this interesting scene. Does it get any better than that? The dog has been humiliated. He went on Howard Stern this morning talked about what he might have to do rather than retire because he's not going to retire much as everyone might wish for it. Alana Rizzo is not taking over high heat on her own. Now the doggy will be with us. And really the only proper way for this to end would be game three of the world series. Doggy strolling out to the mound and throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. He's the inspiration. He's the Diamondbacks guy. Their mascot, so to speak. So, if it was me that was on Christopher Russo's show today, and I had made this prediction that the Diamondbacks would lose and I would retire on the spot, you know what the doggy would say? Kenny, Kenny, bad job, bad job, just a bad job there. Well, doggy, you got to wear this one. But you'll wear it with pride. You'll wear it with your usual good humor. But you're going to get this award. Christopher Russo, dog of the week, dork of the week.